like when you first got this script? There's so many layers and different aspects that are covered. What were your thoughts? I thought the people, people who wrote it must be extremely talented. Um, you can sense their just creative virtuosity when, when you read the script, it's so beautifully written. Um, and then of course the ways that they're tying these themes together and the cleverness of all the twists and turns, you just kind of marvel at what these, what these two people came up with. Absolutely. You know, I, uh, before I read the script, uh, Janelle Monet's manager, who I randomly met because we were on the same panel together, told me about the film. So he told me about it within like before the the cadence of the film. So by the time he got to the twist, the first two, I was like, oh snap! I was like, I cannot wait to see this movie. Like way before I thought I'd be a part of it, it wasn't even on my brain. But I was like, I cannot wait to see this movie. This movie is going to be so dope. But then reading the script, I was like, oh no, this movie is more than dope. It's important. So kind of switching gears a bit, Bridget and Sarah seem like the ultimate girlfriends. I would love a girl's night out with them. What is a girl's night out like with Lily and Gabby? <laughs> Separate you know, together, have... however you want to term it. <laughs> well, we did have some, we did have a we night had out. Them. We Remember that we went we to that one restaurant with like the that was like next to a hotel or something. We had a few yes, a botanical garden, and then we had yeah. a feast, uh, like Louisiana feast of alligator and rabbit and all yeah. manner of. So we had, I, we had a it was a lot of it was very food centric. We were we were really wanting to like taste of you know have some amazing feasts, have a lot of drinks. We were laughing. Mm -hmm. There were some other stuff that went down. <laughs> I lived in New Orleans for seven months while shooting a project and so I took Lily to my favorite restaurant Giacomo's and they have this like they have an alligator or a shrimp no a crab cheesecake and I know that sounds gross but the cheese it's like a macaroni and cheese with crab it's so good so I took her and we had a gigantic daiquiri there too I believe mm -hmm. yes we did it was gigantic <laughs> staggered out it was like multicolored. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It had like, there were, there were levels to it. Yeah. <laughs> so, and trying to avoid any spoilers or giving away any plot twist as I'm talking to you two, what was the impact of being involved with a film like this? And now that it's coming out in our current time where we're going through so many different things, what are the conversations like amongst your friends and your family? And did this experience have any impact on that? It's a lot there, yes. Um, I'm sorry, take whichever part works for you. <laughs> no, it's great. I mean, okay. I, I think right now we're in a moment of serious moral reckoning in our country. And I think a lot of the dialogues should be, have been, uh, you know, on my end. And I think, should, I hope that a lot of people are having this conversation of how, how did we get here? And what what is it that I, did not know that I do, that I need to learn in order to right the wrongs of what's been built into this country. Um, and how can I do that? How can I lend myself to be an ally um, as a as a fellow citizen and as a fellow human being? Absolutely. You know, race uh, being a problem is is not new to us. It's not. It's certainly not new to my mother or her mother. You know, it's not. It's an old, old, old problem. And honestly, at this point, it's much more important that, that it's more important that like Lily gets, like in a way that like li what Lily re represents in Sarah in the film is so important because we're not going to be able to get justice. We're not going to be able to cure racism. We're not gonna be able to move forward freely without, without white allies without white allies like we can scream till we're blue in the face that black lives matter but as long as our face is saying it they're always going to hear that your life doesn't matter white lives don't matter that's never been what we're saying and so what we need is for white people to say black lives matter and uh honestly this this film is so important because what it does is it takes the audience and it forces empathy on uh, on them for the horrendousness of what slavery is because everyone can relate to being afraid but not everyone in this country relates to racism thank you